So we had flooding over the night. Hi, Rebecca. And some of these worms tried to make it to safety. Well, they ended up dying. And now the Rebeccas are just... Well, that one's thrown a bit. But hi, Becca. Enjoying the worms that died. So I'm going to stop talking so she can enjoy her meal everybody and happy 2023 hopefully this is a wonderful year for everybody many blessings to all of you um it is a risky 50 degrees here in arizona and candace already showed you the girls they're out uh eating worms but we wanted to show you all the flooding we have been getting more rain consistent you know like long lasting rain usually we'll get these heavy spurts of rain and then it's done but our last two rains have been like all day and into the next day and i look at our backyard it is just completely flooded all the way into the peppers definitely going to save on the water bill we turned off our sprinkler system. Oh, the Rebecca's are going to get so muddy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, they're going crazy. <laughs> they're fighting over something. I bet they're finding more worms, like live ones. Oh my goodness. So all these worms are a very good sign. Yes, they are. That means that we got good worms going He's on in dead. the gardens. And good worms means good soil, right? That's right. We'll catch back up with you guys again later. Okay, so since we can't do anything outside because of all the rain we've been getting, we're going to show you our indoor plants. So me and Candace made an arrangement where if I was doing all the outdoor stuff. She wanted all these indoor plants and I'm like, you're gonna be taking care of those because I don't wanna be taking care of everything. So she's gone crazy with indoor plants. So we're gonna kind of show you what we have. I can't give you the names of them because I'm not good with that, but she's got some pretty, pretty cool looking ones. Um, Tom had, we've been talking to you about some medical things that um, have happened in our family. Well, Tom had a major surgery, and when he had his surgery, all of the guys from work sent him this plant. I know it's in the lily family, uh, and it's growing some new leaves oh. right now. That's pretty awesome. Um, they really like it here because they get all the, the windows, so they're getting a lot of sunlight right here. But... Um, this was given to him while he was in the hospital. He is doing fine. He's doing really well. Uh, so that's exciting that that is growing. And then we have this guy back here. That's I think a she just watered him. It's a ZZ. So this is a ZZ plant. And he had like three more branches coming off of him, but they like collapsed. But you can see now that there's some new babies coming off of him too. So that's fun. And just a side note, whenever you decide to wash your leaves of your plants, you can give them a milk bath. You just take some milk and put it on a, a washcloth and you wash off the leaves and that gives them more nutrients in their leaves. Why didn't you because ever Because plants tell me that? take up nutrients really quickly through their through their leaves. And then this guy here, Candace has the bigger edition of him upstairs. You'll see that in a little bit. But look at that. Whoops. All the roots. All the roots. We are propagating it. Um, because You can tell she had it in her bathroom. It's got some toothpaste on it. My bad. <laughs> I think we need to give him a milk bath. <laughs> so he's doing really well. And this one, Kenz, do you remember the name of this guy? No. But he's good. He's getting all kinds of new leaves on him, too, coming up from the base. And now these, look at these. Yeah. We get those little black gnats. We're and, starting to get more. Um, these are little sticky things, and they're, lo they're little flower-looking ones. But you just stick them in there. Let me see if I can pull this out without well, seeing. And they have a thing where you can stick them right in the dirt, and they will collect your 
uh, your gnats. Oh, shoot. Another good thing for gnats is um, do three parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide. Don't get it on the leaves. Just do like an inch of the first layer. And especially if you have those things, the gnats will come. I mean, this is morbid. The gnats will come crawling out of that soil because it won't be as good because the hydrogen peroxide. And then they'll get stuck to those. So, and the person at the nursery told you about that, didn't they? Exterminator. Oh, the exterminator told her about yes. that. Okay, so those ones are fake. These are all fake. So, our goal at some point, which I'm sure Candace will accomplish, I'm on my is way. replacing all of this with the natural um, plants. Yeah. But I really need stuff that binds down, and ours aren't big enough yet to where they're binding down. So they're working on it, but we have babies. <clears throat> so then over here we have, oh, I don't know the name of this guy either, but he's grown, he's grown exponentially. And he's got new, his babies come out of the top, and he'll just keep growing taller and taller. I think he's going to end up being a, I think a lot of these are end up, Gonna end up being floor plants. Like floor plants? Yeah. And then I don't want to take this one down because it's heavy, but uh, he's had a hard time keeping going. He keeps breaking off and drying out. So hopefully he likes this area better and we can actually see some growth from him. And now, then. What's going on right here? So right here, Candace's snake plant upstairs, which you'll see, these were like drooping over. Um, so we're seeing if we can propagate those. I haven't looked into it, but it looks like maybe they propagate at the base of, he of some of these, but we'll have to wait and see. They still, they seem very strong. So obviously they're taking up the water. I think I might add some seaweed um, extract to that to give them a little bit more moisture. And if Candace can go in here, you always have to change the water because you can see there's um, yuckies in there. So you have to change the water every week so that you don't end up getting bacteria uh, on your plants. Okay. Has it da drove dad crazy yet with that? No, not yet. Okay. No, it's not really in his space. That's so, good. And then um, a lot of our peppers we've been drying out and I've been saving the seeds from some of those. We have serranos here and what do i have daddles and this uh, one doesn't have a name oh because i knew it <laughs> i want to say no the cherry hots i already put away i'm pretty sure oh this is the jalapenos these are jalapeno seeds okay yes jalapeno okay so that's all those plants that we have there then over here you can see where we've been drying our peppers so tom took one to work for uh, a guy at work but this is some of the dried uh super hot peppers we left some fresh aren't those beautiful mm -hmm. and then these are all these are all dried, so we have to. We have a special uh, coffee grinder that we use just for our peppers, so we can make a pepper mix. And he said it is really hot. And the Becca's laid six eggs today. Yes, we will get into the Becca's in our next video. Um, this here is your basic vine. Needs to be uh, up a little bit. Plant. I can't even think of the name of it right now. It's it's a very common common plant, um, but we got some. We need to take some of these off. I think it's about time that we propagate this one. So what you do when you propagate those is you would cut at whatever point you wanted to cut at. Take off a couple of these leaves, stick them in the water, and then these nodes would start growing roots and you could start a whole new plant with those. These are these are one of your very easier, very easy, or much easier plants to grow. And this this is our tomatoes that we took off the the tomato plant before we had that frost. 
they were all green. Um, and so some of them are turning. And they are so good. I had like three of them before I went to work this morning. <laughs> good breakfast. Okay, and here's another one of those vining. And this canvas, isn't this a begonia? I think so. I'm, yeah, I refuse it's to... been struggling, but it's got new babies on there. Yeah. He's doing pretty good. I think we put him in too big of a pot for, but he was a bigger plant. Yeah, he but, was much bigger. Yeah, he struggled a lot. And then I got this plant from one of my dear friends that moved. Uh, her daughter was loved plants and they left this behind and they were just going to get rid of it. And that's the same one that's pro propagating right now. Oh, over there? The Swiss leaf. Yeah. Plant. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but it's got a different leaf structure. This one does. And it's just crazy. Uh, so it's we're going to see what happens with it. And then we have another vining plant down there. And of course this one and the other one right here are fake. So we'll fill those in at some point. And we can't show a video of all of our plants. Yeah, that one usually, here. that's a lily and this it usually, is a lily. he goes up there. Yeah, Candace just watered him. And then she had to buy some uh, poinsettias. This is what I'm talking see the babies. So she wants to try and see if she can keep them going over, over the summer. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So we have those, and we can't do a video of indoor plants without doing Candace's room because it's absolutely beautifully crazy in there. I like the energy. She um, does have very good energy. She likes um, crystals and anything that brings energy, good energy to the house and nature, and so her room is beautiful. Thank you. So this is Candace's room. We've been in here before. This of course is her ivy. It was a lot fuller but a lot um, of it dried out. Yeah I forgot to water it for a while. Yeah and they're pretty temperamental so when you forget to do something with an ivy it's it's gonna let you know. And I don't know, do you know what this one is? I don't, but he was 50% off because he was struggling. So yeah. I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. So she just brought him home a few days ago and uh, she's seeing what he'll do. I'm guessing that he'll grow out of the top and fill out. Me too. And then, of course, you can't, you have to show him. <laughs> see all of her beautiful crystals. Yeah. And of course, the smudge stick. Oh yeah, we did a video on mm -hmm. making those. Yep, in her tree of life. It's pyrite. And then this guy here, this oh. is like an orange jubilee. Okay, he was gorgeous. He was. Until an ex got drunk and knocked him over. And then he, we're still trying to bring him back after that. Yeah. Hopefully some green will grow down here. And then Somebody she might just right have here. to. You might just have to chop off all Look of this. Look at this though. Yeah. You're like dad. Oh, it's growing out of the top, but you really might need to cut it back all the way to the base. And that's the snake plant we were talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? But some of them were just like, like this, this one isn't, but it was like drooping all the way down. So mm -hmm. we just got this one. Another begonia. And I believe this is going to be a trailing begonia. Yeah. It's going to be really pretty. Her thought is to have it up in that corner. No, I want it right. I want to keep it right here. Oh, you're going to keep it there and but let I it trail. I want to trail down. Okay. Of course, I'll have to keep it cut where Bentley's dish is. Yeah. And then there's this guy. He's got. He's gorgeous. Yeah, he's got new babies coming out. And, and then we from, have. This is from the rose bush out front. And then this is a. Um, bamboo. Bamboo. I just cleaned him up. Oh, look. He's got some new growth coming in. He's about two years old. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. And then one of those plants downstairs, we actually propagated and started from this plant. This this guy is just crazy. And I mean, look at his, look at the stems on this one. It's, he's just, 
Looks he's nice. happy here, that's for sure. And then, and then she has another snake plant back here. And you know, snake plants are actually very good um, yeah, for NASA. cleaning the air. And what? NASA did a report on it, or a study, where if you have like six or seven snake plants and you were in a bomb shelter, you'd be able to survive because they provide oxygen. Yeah. But they also, they also cleanse the air um, of uh, toxins. So you'll, if you see snake plants in people's homes, often, you know, some people know about it, some don't. And then we have this guy over here. This is another begonia. With some he crystals. looks like he had some, something happened to his leaf right what there. What the? It looks like Bentley might have went to town. That's I, what it looks like. I think Bentley did. <laughs> I think Bentley might be trying to eat your plant. You will. But he does have a new, a brand new I saw baby that right today. here. So that's awesome. Okay. And then, you... fun fact, this is black tourmaline. If you have a lot of electronics in your room, it absorbs the electromagnetic fog. And then in her bathroom, and this is where we were propagating the other yes, one. Yes, this is the one that was prop that we're propagating. He was over by this sink where she brushes her teeth and stuff, but we moved him over here um, just to keep him a little cleaner. Yeah, and they like moisture too, so that's why I have him in the bathroom. Yeah, but we do have to keep the door closed because otherwise he doesn't get the light um, as much. So that's what we have going on right now in the house while we can't go outside because the weather has been so crazy. It is actually supposed to be storming again. So we'll see what happens. But the one thing that I do really need to get done is uh, I gotta get those trees planted in the backyard. And with all the moisture that we've gotten, that should make it easier for me to be able to dig into that dirt because right now Tom can't help me with that. So hopefully the ground is nice and easy to work and I can get those trees in and we'll be taking you along for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you soon.